In this problem, we need to find the x-intercept, the y-intercept of the equation 2x minus 5y equals negative 10. Then we need to graph the equation using the intercepts. So let's look at, to start with, the x-intercept. To find the x-intercept, you set y equal to 0. So that means in the equation, I put a 0 in for y. So I get 2x minus 5 times 0 equals negative 10. Well, 5 times 0 is 0. 2x minus 0 is just 2x. So I get 2x equals negative 10. Divide both sides by 2. And I get x equals negative 10 bit divided by 2 is negative 5. Remember, intercepts are ordered pairs. So the x-coordinate is negative 5, and what's the y-coordinate? 0. Now let's find the y-intercept. And we do that by setting x equal to 0. So going back to my original equation, I'm going to get 2 times 0, which is the x value, minus 5y equals negative 10. Well, 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 5y just gives me negative 5y equals negative 10. Divide both sides by negative 5. And I get y equals negative 10 divided by negative 5 is positive 2. So my y-intercept is the x-coordinate is 0, remember, and the y-coordinate is 2. So now i found both my x-intercept and my y-intercept, so now I need to graph the equation. So if I go over to my graph, let's graph the x-intercept first. Start at the origin, negative 5, 0 means I go 5 to the left and nowhere in the y direction. So there is negative 5, 0 on the x-axis. Then I have the point 0, 2, my y-intercept. So again, start at the origin. Don't go nowhere in the x-direction and 2 in the y-direction. So I'm going to land up there. And now we need to graph the line, so I am going to put it on pause for a second. So now I have my ruler out. Let's draw my line, get rid of my ruler, put arrows on both ends, and now I have graphed my line. The one last thing we can do is check our work. So if we look at the graph, this point was 5 to the left. Let's go 5 to the right. And is there a point on the graph? Yes, right there. And it looks like the point should be 5, 4. So what we're going to do is plug those numbers into our equation to see if we get a true statement. So 2 times 5, which is the x value, minus 5 times the y value, which is 4, does that equal negative 10? 2 times 5 is 10, minus 5 times 4 is 20, equals negative 10. What is 10 minus 20? Negative 10. Does negative 10 equal negative 10? Yes, so that's a good indication you've done the problem correctly.